Have you ever pondered the challenges faced in delivering therapeutic drugs effectively and safely to the body? The answer to this conundrum lies in a technique known as pedulation, a process that involves the conjugation of therapeutic molecules with a compound known as polyethylene glycol or PEG. PEG, a string of repeated ethylene glycol units, is a versatile compound with a host of beneficial properties. It's non-irritative, highly water-soluble, and compatible with a range of substances. Its excellent lubricity, moisture retention, and dispersibility make it an ideal candidate for use in a variety of industries from cosmetics and pharmaceuticals to rubber, plastics, and food processing. Pedulation, the act of modifying therapeutic molecules by conjugating them with PEG, is a rapidly evolving strategy designed to tackle the hurdles in therapeutic delivery. It's like adding an extra tool to the traditional drug delivery toolkit. However, it's not a one-size-fits-all process. The strategy used for pedulation needs to be tailored to the specific therapeutic system in use, and it relies on the availability of activated pedulating agents. This makes prior knowledge essential when choosing the right method for pedulation. Over the years, we've seen the evolution of pedulation strategies. The first-generation products involved non-specific and irreversible pedulation of target proteins with linear peg chains. However, the need for bioresponsive drug delivery systems led to the development of the second-generation pedulated products. These contain covalently bound branched peg chains at specific positions in the molecule capable of releasing drugs in response to stimuli from the surrounding environment. To achieve pedulation, the peg moiety must be activated this is accomplished by preparing a PEG derivative with a reactive functional group at one or both ends. The choice of reactive functional group depends on the substrate to be conjugated with PEG. As a result, pedulation techniques can be divided into three categories. Pedulation of proteins, pedulation of small molecule drugs, and pedulation of nanocarriers. The importance of PEG and pedulation in therapeutic delivery cannot be overstated. Peptides or protein-based drugs can trigger strong immunogenicity, leading to the production of antibodies in the body. This can reduce overall efficacy and even cause allergic reactions. By combining these peptides or proteins with a soluble inert polymer like PEG, we can reduce immunogenicity, extend half-life, and maintain biological activity. Pedulation technology has come a long way since its development in the late 1970s. Today, there are more than 10 pedulated protein drugs on the market, each demonstrating impressive clinical medical effects. The strategies used for peptide and protein pegylation include site-selective pegylation, enzymatic pegylation, and both releasable and non-covalent pegylation. Each strategy has its unique advantages and applications underlining the versatility and importance of pegylation in the world of therapeutic delivery.